So see, she's not Muslim. She's following like the modern society. Like okay. One of those girls. But you're doing it, and you're actually doing it from the heart. Say, doing what? Like you know, you're trying to do a long relationship where you're trying to get married at the end. Okay. okay. But you don't know that like, if it's gonna work out or something. But can you start talking to her like? Oh, she's not Muslim. How is gonna marry her? Maybe she get Muslim at the end. Ah, no man, this is a fitna. Okay. Yeah. Until we become Muslim and get married, pop away. Yeah. I was talking to her. Yeah. It's dangerous for you now. Yeah. Maybe the best thing. If you have a sister, yeah. you can get in contact with your sister to speak to her, try to help her to understand Islam. But we don't have this boyfriend girlfriend in Islam. Yeah. Now, uh, even even if you have like a, you got intention, even to if you intention to marry, that's it. Uh, as long as, uh, for example, if I want to marry a sister, yeah. now I approach her well, yeah, yeah. then okay, her well knows I'm talking to her. We talk. She phones I mentioned that she can yeah. with the intention of marriage. It's something else. You yeah. understand? But you know, you like a. Uh, she's talking to her, you know. Look for a Muslim sister and get married to her. Yeah. Oh, you good. Like, with the Muslim sister, you're like, as long with intention and her parents know. Her parents know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You speak to the parents, say, this is going to get married, yeah. I'm interested. Okay, then you start talking about what do you want to, you know, yeah. so, uh, about marriage and everything. Yeah. There's no problem with that, but. I'm, I'm a guy, you know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, Shikhan Ben said you don't have to. Thank you. Have a guardian. Shikhan Ben and Shikhan Fawzan, both of them said, yeah. said, if both of you have an intention to get married and you approach, approach the father and you speak to the father, then is it permissible to speak to her on the phone? He said, as long as her father knows, then as long as there's a limit, because why? Well, you only have an intention to get married and you approach the father. You understand? But, 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 but of course, but to be on the safe side, yeah. you know, you have to know yourself. Like, you know, fatwa, for example, Sheikh Fawzan said it's permissible, Shimon Bas. But don't use this fatwa to start talking about haram. You understand? Yeah. Because that fatwa is not for you anymore. Yeah. If you talk about haram, then that's when the fatwa comes in. Have a guardian. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Barakallah. Does it have to be your parents or can it be someone else in the family? It's as a third person? Uh, like a guardian. So Akhi, sure. Papu Shafad, Akhi. Would you be happy for me to come to your daughter mm. and not approach you, approach your brother? You're not going to like it. He said, my daughter, why are you approaching someone else? Yeah, yeah. You understand? Except if our father said, no, I don't mind for the son, my son who is 18, 20 to be. And now what you can do, like WhatsApp group. Oh, yeah. You can have the father in the WhatsApp group and you can talk, alhamdulillah. So you have guardian. Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah. But so that's why it's very important to understand Fatawa. Because sometimes some people they use a fatwa of a alim yeah. and they misuse it and they say if the alim said so no but the alim never spoke about you. You have to, to be honest, for example, when the one of the scholars obeyed Al Jabir rahimahullah may Allah have mercy upon him, said it's permissible for women to go to a free mix university out of necessity. It was about a specific system, it's not about every woman. Yeah. You understand? So now not every woman can get that fatwa and try to apply it to herself. And stop free mixing and joking around and mangling and playing, you know. So that's why there's a difference between a fatwa and tatbiq al fatwa. The fatwa and how to implement it. That's why Imam al ta'ala, his fatwa in Egypt was different than the fatwa in Iraq. You know? That's why there's a fiqh al fatwa. Sometimes you hear people say, a scholar said, yeah, but there's, you have to understand the speech of Al Ilm. You know, you have to understand the speech of Al Ilm, speech of the scholars. Barakallah alaykum. So there is not there's mufti wa naqd al fatwa. That fatwa you can narrate by the scholars on the condition that you understand the fatwa and you understand how the fa that fatwa should be uh, or this fatwa should be implemented. Understand? You cannot come to, uh, 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 for example, environment. Uh, let me give an example for people to understand. Yeah, for example, now in speakers corner, sometimes you have to speak to women, non-Muslim women. She's not covered. We ask one of the major scholars, Sheikh Nasser Al-Faqihi. He's over 95 years old. Nasser Al-Faqihi is a teacher in Medina. We've asked him about, in the Western world, sometimes women come speak to us about the they're not covered. What should we do? He said, she's not Muslim. What are you going to tell? Go cover it first. Doesn't make any sense. We give her da'wah, no doubt, okay? So, uh, now, you cannot take that fatwa and have a podcast, sitting down with the sisters, have a makeup, and, and, and phoenix in talking and signing with them because out in the park is out of the park is out of necessity you cannot escape it but that word is not out of necessity it's not necessity for me to sit 
with a sister, even if her husband, I mean, if her husband there, that is worse. I don't know if you accept your wife to be sitting in front of me with talking and smiling to each other. I don't know about that, brother. You have to check your rira, your jealousy, you understand? You're right, so so, so the point here is, so don't, don't misuse the fetter of al -in. For example, some Muslim liber liberals, Muslim liberalism, they say Aisha, she used to teach, Mumuna Aisha, she used to teach, right? So there's no problem for sisters to be online, uh, giving da'wah, even with niqab. No, no, no. Firstly, Umuna Aisha used to teach where? Outside in the masjid? Or in the street? No, she was at her house. Secondly, she had a curtain. You understand? Thirdly, you can compare um, uh, the uh, Sahaba to ourselves. It's a long time. No, it's not about a long time or not. You have to look at different Sahaba, they were pure hearted. He's not going to say Umuna Aisha to have disease with Abdul Billah. Even that Allah told them to not beautify their voice. So this is having them online teaching or uh, 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 giving that one TikTok. It's not Islam. You like it, you hate it. It's not Islam. If you're going to use Aisha, Aisha is at home, not outside the street with every man watching her. You understand? Laughing so and joking. Huh? Laughing and joking. Yeah. So don't, be, don't misuse the speech of Al Ilm. Ibn, Ibn Taymiyyah, his teacher was a woman. Yes, she was not teaching him in the mosque. They used to go to the house and the husband is there and behind the curtain. Or behind the curtain with the other people. There's no khul khulwa. Understand, Akhi? So, this is just general advice about the, the importance of understanding fatwa of al ilm and how to implement it. You know, because we have now people just uh, misuse the verse, misuse the hadith, misuse uh, 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 speech of al ilm What's this, Akhi? Podcast sitting with women and makeup and. and uh, and he said, we're doing it because, uh, where is this akhir? Barakallah alaykum. Ah, her husband is there. That's worst. If her husband dead and he's and sitting with a man joking and smiling, talking about certain things and looking at each other, you know. Irrelevant. Yeah, so you can apply that. Don't use, don't use the photo of Ali Imam about speakers going on the street. And the street is something you cannot escape. You have to speak to them. You know, of course, you have to feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No doubt. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, man. Amen. And uh, I want to also I wanted to mention something. You know, sometimes my dear brothers and sisters, may I bless you all. I use the hadith and I don't quote it word for word in English because in English you cannot quote the hadith word for word. You're quoting the meaning, okay? Because person said in Arabic. So recently I said the hadith, and Nabi Alaihissalam said I came to divide the people, but the hadith actually says uh, uh, the angels were telling to each other, Muhammad farqun bayn al nas, or Muhammad farqa. There's two words for this hadith. So they said the angels, they spoke to each other and they said, Muhammad Muhammad caused people to be divided, meaning between the believers and the disbelievers, the obedient and disobedient ones. You know? So uh, uh, sometimes even when I narrate an ayah or when I quote a verse in English, I quote the meaning. Okay? For example, Sheikh Salah al Fawzan, the hadith about a person who said a lie. And by the evening, the light will reach far east, far west. The hadith doesn't say that word for word, but that's the meaning of the hadith. So, Sheikh Mawzan is not misquoting, you know. That's why it's very important to understand speech of Al Ilm, to understand about how to know the hadith. But you know, sometimes people are Allah protect us all. But I'm actually like somewhere, yeah. I don't know if you know. He said apparently Muslims are allowed to marry like people of the book, so that could be a Christian or a Jew. That's true. That's true. Allah said that in the Quran, but well, there's conditions to it, I think. Oh, she's, a, she's a good woman, you know, and uh, she's uh, 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 not uh, she's not to be fornicator, having uh, many boyfriends. Chase, Afifa. Yeah. Afifa, chaste woman. She's a chaste woman, yeah. What if she don't accept Islam, though? Why you don't if like she accepts Islam, you can marry her. Yeah. But, you know, alhamdulillah, there's enough Muslim women now. You can marry Muslim women. Yeah, alhamdulillah. But if you can, if you if you, if you are, no, no doubt, you're not going to say something like haram, mushkala made halal. It is halal. But again, there's conditions to it, mm -hmm. and you have to know yourself. Yeah. You know, because now, if I marry a Muslim woman, yes, and something happened, may Allah forbid, she chose to leave and take the children or something, I'm not going to blame myself because I married a Muslim woman. If she's not giving me my right, Allah, Allah would hold her accountable. But if you marry a non-Muslim woman, you know, and she, as I said many times here, brothers, uh, uh, she took my children, you know, so, you know, I mean, Make sure if you marry someone from the people of the book, Christian or Jewish, 
uh, someone try to give a dawah first, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but you, it's allowed. Islam is allowed with conditions. Uh, she's Afifa, Muhsana, Muhsana, Muhsana means she's uh, protect her uh, uh, virg uh, virginity. Oh, no. uh, she has to be virgin. She has to be virgin, but she's not known to be fornicator. Yeah, she protects her private part. Also, she's not known to have boyfriends. Yeah, so there's conditions to it. Barakallah fikum. But alhamdulillah, like you know, how old are you? Yeah, get married, man. Like, yes, get married. Young brothers get married, man. Now we have this mentality. When I go hajj, come back, get married. Where do you get that from? I make a two pillar Allah and them ahuj. Okay, how do you know you're going to live? No, get married. If you young, get married, alhamdulillah. And Nabi Allah also advised us with this. Now, it's okay for, for a girl, she's 14, 16, to have fornication with every man, but to get married, no, 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 that's, that's, a, that's a crime. Look how they're promoting, glamorizing, glorifying what? Evil things. But when it comes to halal, many barriers. Huh? Now, even some Muslim parents, man, you go, a brother goes to marry, to ask for the daughter, he says she has to finish, finish university. Oh, she, till she becomes 50 years old, you want me to marry her? You understand? And then, I see some parents, they contact us, Oh, my daughter, she went out, she, she got pregnant out of fornication. When a brother came to ask you for her hand, you didn't want to give her. You know? So, you know, the, the, we have to make the marriage easy. SubhanAllah. Now, marriage is hard. Yes, but fornication is okay. Well, Iyadu Billah, Malak protect us all. You know, SubhanAllah. So, if you are parents and you have uh, daughters, boys, raise them that they should get married uh, at a young age. Don't let this, uh, uh, the, the Western world deceive you by, oh, they're still young. Are they still young? But if they fornicate, no, it's okay now. No, they're not young. They're not young, to, they're, not, they're not young to open their legs for every human being. But they're young to get married. Look at this hypocrisy. And the Tamma, but the Muslim, some Muslims like this. The cute Muslims. No, no, my daughter, she's still, she's still, uh, yeah. how old? She's 55 years old. She's a grandmother, man. She's not married. Maybe their, their father and mother agree to that. They agree what? To relation. So how do we have Allah, Allah. Allah. the youth? Now the youth, they the like the brother said, maybe even the parents they parents don't mind. Allah. 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 Now, you know, you, uh, how many sometimes your families, my Allah guide them, they don't mind their daughters to wear mini skirts, you know? You raise them with a mini skirt, then you ask why they're going to nightclub. You, you're the problem. Raise them to cover themselves. Raise them to cover themselves. That's Islamic teaching. I remember once I was in Shepherd's Bush, and this old woman, English old woman, came to me. She said, Oh, we're doing our table. She said, Oh, my son, I saw a, a little girl, she was like 10 years old. And her father they put hijab on her. I said, so what's the problem with that? I said, I see many girls, five, seven years old, eight years old, they, they have been skirt. So why you don't talk about that? And then you know there's many pedophiles out there. I said, the way you want to teach your children what is right for them, he wants to teach his child what is right for her. Uh, it's okay for you to do that, but it's haram for him. And uh, now if he does it, if a Muslim do it, it's brainwashing. But if they teach them for fornication, no, that's civilization. May Allah curse it. And may Allah bless backward if the backward to be a real man and a real woman. And may Allah curse civilization that make you worse than monkeys and the donkeys and the pigs. لَعَنَ اللَّهِ تَطَوُّرْ إِذَا جَعَلَكَ أَسْوَأَ مِنَ الْقِرَدَ وَالْخَنَازِرِ وَبَرَكَاتُ اللَّهِ تَطْرَأْ عَلَى التَّخَلُّفْ إِذَا جَعَلَكَ رَجُلًا وَجَعَلَ مَرْأَ إِمْرَأَةً تَطَوُّرْ لَا تَدَهُّرْ يَا أَخِي تَطَوُّرُ فِي جَهَنَّمُ الْإِيَادُ بِاللَّهِ You know? Because even some Muslims, they say, no, we have to be civilized. What, to be worse than the donkeys? You be civilized by yourself. Alhamdulillah, I'm good to be backward. Backward, the real man, may Allah bless it. Because, you know, and, and that leads me to Mustalahat, the war of, of terminologies. The war of terminologies. You know, when they want to make women worth of nothing, they use her to, to sell their products, to, to sell cars. What they say, women's rights, women's freedom. What does that mean? Is a man's freedom to manipulate women, to utilize her as a tool to sell his products. That's what it means. 
but he cannot say that to her because she wouldn't accept. So what he will use a nice terminology, a, a nice slogan. Uh, the, 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 the proof, uh, the, that is the, the way of shaitan. Shaitan, what did he say to Adam? What did he say to Adam? And I'm going to have a هل أدلك على شجرة الخلد وملك لا يبلى؟ شو أنا أشوف you the tree of eternity and an everlasting dominion. What was he referring to? He was referring to the tree which Allah made haram for Adam. You see how it changed the name of the tree. The tree is haram, but Adam Iblis experienced. He never called it what a, a cursed tree. He said هل أدلك على شجرة الخلد وملك لا يبلى؟ So I'll not show you a tree of eternity and everlasting dominion. And human nature, that you want to live forever. That's why even the scientists, this child in the Jalil, they say we're going to try to find something to make us live forever. A human wants to live forever, but we cannot live forever here because too many troubles, too many calamities. The best place to live forever, if you want to live forever, is in Jannah. And the worst place, Jahannam al So be aware of terminologies. Huh? Feminism. Where is feminism? Uh, defending women. Yeah? How do you defend women? To make her equal to man. Women should, should, should uh, my mother, proud to be woman, alhamdulillah. There are certain things about women men cannot have. And certain things about men men cannot have. And that will make them they married and accomplish each other. Understand? So alhamdulillah. So we have to be careful. Be careful from terminologies. That's when you start smoking drugs too much. We should not laugh because he's mocking Jesus. We should not laugh. This guy, may Allah guide him or curse him. Because you can't mock Jesus. Jesus is our messenger. You know, he's mocking Jesus. He's an uh, idiot. Anyway, go inside. You see what's happening. You okay, lady? You all right? We have stick and you have stick. Yeah. I feel old now. It doesn't mean you're old. How are you okay? I'm okay. Yeah. How's your day been? Are you a Muslim, Christian? No, we're not religion. Religion, religion is always power, uh, under pressure, people, and not evil to everyone. No, religion is not good. Religion is good. The, the, the nature is good, but not religion. All, always somebody on the top says, from this you have to do, and don't that. Yeah, but you have someone in this country on the top tell you what to do too. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's not good. Yeah, so, but you, still, but you still have to listen to them. Yeah, but, but the point here. So, no, no, sorry. Yeah. No, no, we are equal in the sight of God. However, in certain things we are not equal. Like, like, I, I cannot. Wait, wait. Before we go to that, I cannot breastfeed, breastfeed my child. The woman can do it, so we're not equal in this yeah. in this regard. I, I, so, I'm okay. happy, I'm happy yeah, that the woman can do it. So what I would say true. to you, Auntie, look, look, have respect. What you have to understand is not about is if someone on the top or not. If someone on the top and is given us a way of life which is okay. good for us, but one second. You have to allow me to finish, please, have respect. Where, where are the you are a woman, you're a man. Yeah, 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 she's behind you too. I mean, you don't, cannot see? Why well, come in? Well, no. This nightclub, this is a <laughs> woman coming with But you're a woman, they stay home. Yeah, Behind alhamdulillah, and we're proud of it. We are proud of it. No, 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 auntie, auntie, please. Stop watching too much media. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're Our women, we are proud of our home because we defend them. Like the queen, where is the queen? The queen always in her palace. We don't see the queen walking down the street like no one, you see? So we don't see the queen running after the bus to go to work. You see, you see the soldiers are after the bus or the work to look after her. That's our woman. Huh? The queen, she was at home looking after her. Everyone looking after her. She died, Muskida. You have to yourself, may Allah guide you to Islam. You know, subhanAllah. They, so, so the problem is who is on the top. The problem is that one is teaching you what he's teaching you is right or wrong. Listen, Jesus is better than you, man. You are the devil. You're not the, you're not the son of the devil. You are the devil. Jesus is better than you. Jesus is better than you, you are son of the devil. You are a pagan. You are the devil, so is your son. Jesus is a mighty messenger, the true Messiah, Jesus. Alayhi salam.
You see, you cannot see the Christians defending Jesus. We defend Jesus. We defend Jesus. And we fight for Jesus. You know, it's a life is inside, not outside. Ah, uh, go on, man. Go just like, anyway. <laughs>